Hi there, sweet peas. I have another art video for you today. We are going to be painting rainbows. Now I'm going to gather up all the materials we'll need and I'll show you how. Okay, sweet peas. For this art project, you are going to need a piece of thick paper. You can use cardstock or watercolor. Some watercolors, you can use a liquid watercolor or you can use a watercolor palette, which I have. You will need a cup with water if you're, using, if you're using this kind of watercolors. And to clean your brush, and you're going to need a paper towel to dab, dab, dab your brush dry. And last but not least, you are going to need a bowl, a flashlight, and a CD. You can ask the grown-ups to help you find a flashlight and an old CD. And what you do is you point flashlight. My flashlight has this nice little clip. So I don't have to hold it, but you also might have to hold it to make, to point it at our, at our CD. And the CD is resting in this bowl with some water and it reflects from the CD onto my paper and even up onto my wall. So the first step after we get everything together, take a moment to grab all the materials you need. I'm going to write my name on my paper and then flip it over and I can start painting and exploring. Look very closely you can see the rainbow reflecting onto the paper. You can even look at the rainbows in the CD. So I'm going to paint where I see my rainbow. I can't wait to see the kinds of beautiful paintings you create. Remember, each time you use one color, to clean your brush, dab it dry, and pat, pat, pat. If you're using a paint palette like I am, you're going to need to get your brush wet one more time before you can paint. So now I'm going to add some, I see. What colors do you see here? Oh, I see some green. So I'm gonna look at my paint palette and find some green. You can use any shade of green. You'll notice that there are lots of different kinds of green here. I'm gonna pick this bright green. I see some green here. I love how this rainbow is different from other rainbows you see in the sky. All rainbows are going to look different and the rainbow that you see your flashlight and your old CD is going to look very different from this one. Now I'm going to add some blue and I can keep painting until I'm content with the way my project looks and I can set it up to dry. You can do as many of these paintings as you like. Lots of fun. If you don't see a rainbow right away, try wiggling your flashlight around, pointing it in different directions, in different places, and see what happens. You might need to move your flashlight around until it's pointing in just the right place and you will see your rainbow shoot across your paper. I can't wait to see all of the beautiful rainbows that you paint, all of the art that you make when you're at home. Save it, take pictures, 
share them with your friends and your teachers, and I can't wait until we can all see each other again. Blowing your kisses.